Hey everyone, my name's Dino and welcome back to Gravewood High. So as you can see on the left, been a bit of a busy bee. Been looking around and seeing if I can find things that we're not supposed to see. And while I was running around and doing that and just being an absolute pain in the ass towards the teacher, there he goes, I found out that I was able to essentially freeze or bug the teacher in a position where it gave me free roam of the map. Not free roam of the map of as in being able to walk through walls, but basically not having the teacher chasing my ass down every five minutes. But first things first, so in my previous run throughs, I was able to trap him in like trap doors that are inside some of the classes. So I think I need to get to like the math class or the uh, English class or something. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Surprise, mother. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Get in. Is he gonna? Is he gonna jump through? Maybe if I put the boxes here, it will stop him. Oh no, he's back in the building. Uh oh, he is. Ah. Oh no, yet yeah, the boxes do not stop him whatsoever. Hold on a minute. I think we I think we have actually bugged him out already. Where is he? I think we've done it. I think we have. Right, let's destroy the floor there and see if that moves him. No, it doesn't. Yes, he's completely bugged out. Awesome. <laughs> How do you like them apples, teach? Yes. One thing that I know will be beneficial to uh, save time is to actually open some of these passageways. Gives us more mobility around the school. Do you know what I mean? So heading up on top of the school, as you can see, the end scenario of the Alpha 1 build appears at the top of the elevator. But if I move over here, it disappears. Very strange. But then if you move, I don't want to fall off the edge. If you move, ah, look, see? Boom. Very interesting. Wondering if we can see anything. Like, unfortunately can't, and I don't think I could build a big enough like tower to be able to get up there. But what would be interesting is the ending is obviously at the top there. The animation, it would be very interesting to see if there is some way that we could get up there without triggering the animation and being able to see everything, like being outside of the cutscene. What is that? What the hell is that? There's one thing I'm loving about this game already, man. It's just like the Hello Neighbor days. It's just funny how accessible a lot of this stuff is. If I remember rightly, this is where... Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. Right, I've got enough boxes. Let's go investigate. What is this? Right, what we got in... Oh my... No, what? That's a cannon. Holy crap, that's a cannon. What was a cannon doing in here? But then again, on GravewoodFiles.com, it did say that the sco there's a newspaper cutting. Oh wow! Oh my, I'm 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 nerding out massively right now. That's crazy. On GravewoodFiles.com, it does mention that on this site in the history and the lore of the game that there were 600 Civil War soldiers killed in battle here. Can I get Can I get in there? <gasps> no, no! Damn it! So long, Bob. Bob the Box. What a great guy. We need to investigate what that's connected to. I can hear that whirring over here. And that's an anomaly. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the room that I was just in piling up boxes to get out of. Wait a minute. Speaking of piling up boxes, how am I getting off of here? Okay, is that going to be enough? Right, let's do that little thing. So if you jump and press F at the same time, it means you can pick up a box. Ah, nope. Damn it. Okay, so we need to try and locate exactly where that room was. I, I just, I think this is the room that we initially came out of. So that's the war room. Yes, it is. Look, yeah, there's the bridge. Excellent. So the war room is behind that wall. Damn, that is literally a solid wall. Well, there's a newspaper cutting in there. So it's not like we can't access it. We clearly have to be able to get in there. How the hell am I going to get in there? It even says, look outside the room. Ah! Jesus Christ, I need to, ah, I need a hammer. Can someone give me a hammer so I can like execute? Oh no, wait, I can actually throw an anomaly at it. Boom, take that. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this classroom looks a bit too tidy at the moment. Ah, kapow, oh my God. Ah, there we go, and another one. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's literally this wall here, you know. What the f Wait a minute. <gasps> no, no way. <gasps> Oh my god! It was that easy! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm losing my mind right now. Come here, baby! Oh my... Look, wow! I can't believe it! I cannot believe it! This is crazy! That's one more secret down. So how much other stuff is going, like, unnoticed? Ah, oh, he must be absolutely fuming, mustn't he? Whoa! Jesus! Okay, so we've discovered how to get into the war room that is beneath us right now. Next on the agenda is this room. I need to work out exactly where it is, though. So seeing as that's the war room, and we got in there from a hole in the vending machine wall, which 
I think must be about here. So, along the corridor, by a few lockers, there has to be an entrance to here. Okay, so it's on this, co it's in this complex, and it's against that far wall. All uh, right, we've got a better observation here. Okay, it says escape right beneath it there too. Anything behind any of these walls? Oh, oh, okay. Ah, look at that, awesome. Here we go, so what's in this one? <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? So as I mentioned earlier, I'm creating a video that is a historical and lore-based video on the history of this game at the moment, or at least within this game. I'm pretty sure this is the last audio log that I could not find. Let's have a listen. I am uh, planning to visit the school again next weekend. I wish I could take someone else with me, both for comfort and to speed things up. But there is no way I'm gonna drag others into this and make them accomplices. And I'm having trouble sleeping again. The school keeps haunting me in my dreams. I even dozed off during lunch at work the other day, just to wake up and realize that I was freezing. I mean, sure, it's, it's pretty chilly outside these days, but not that chilly. Wow. So judging by the audio log recordings, it sounds like Jack is absolutely losing his mind with this research at the moment. Very strange enough as well, the fact that we can see the selfie of the children here too. My God, I am absolutely in love with this game at the moment. Okay, so in this particular school, because the game is procedurally generated, I've done what I've wanted to do in those two uh, areas that were undiscovered to me. And fortunately, we've discovered them. Well, in my first playthrough, I remember seeing a window that looked like a portal. And I've gone to the particular area where this thing was and it isn't there anymore. So I'm going to sacrifice myself to the teacher continuously until I find this particular area that I want to try and discover and show you guys. Okay, so this is interesting. The, this is the area that I'm looking for, but this isn't the thing I am looking for. There is something else here in a different school, but there's a vault in this one. Can we get in there somehow? Why on earth would there be a vault of this size in a school? So, so strange, man. Oh my God, that's creepy. Whoa, so this school is without a doubt haunted, without a doubt. Perfect poltergeist activity, god dang. So I believe this is the area where the vault is and as you can see, there isn't nothing there at all. Damn, right, time to change map. Yeah! Oh, I thought I... Oh. Well, that's embarrassing. I've come all this way and the teacher's patrolling the corridor that I want to go and look in. God, he won't stop. Please, please, please. <gasps> yes, it's there! Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, my God. Okay, so now that I know that's there, we need to get to the rooftop and see if we can get in. We have to be, that can't just be there for no reason. Uh oh, uh -oh. <gasps> oh. My God, boxes are the best thing since sliced bread, other than dogs. Dogs are better than boxes. Oh, we're doing so much parkour. <gasps> there it is. What is all of that? I'm fine with sacrificing one, but what on earth? Oh my god, it's glowing. What the hell are they? They're like glowing eggs. What the hell is that? Oh my Christ. Can we go through them? Oh wow, I can't believe this. This is crazy. Oh, we've got a ledge. Please go down. Please let me... Yeah. Oh my word. What the hell have I discovered? This is insane. Oh my God, it's like some sort of interdimensional portal. It's like things floating around and like water jo Whoa, no, hold on. Ah, I can't go any further. Literally, there's like an invisible barrier right here. So what's beyond that? So that's, that's like a cage of some sort. And we can kind of see the window that we were looking through. I'm totally lost for words. Oh, wow. I can't even put a box down there. Hold on, can't even climb up. It's even stopping me getting above. Then there's the roof there. Let me see if I can jump over. No, literally, there is a brick wall, invisible brick wall in front of us. So there you have it, everybody. I wanted to find these things that I've experienced while running around and playing this game. 
and we've gone and just done that. There was the war room that I wanted to get to, the other, like, loft area, and this weird window that I saw that looked like a portal. My god, I love breaking games, or at least discovering these weird anomalies that right now we have no answer to. But there you go, guys. That's another episode of Gravewood High. If you're enjoying this, please leave me a like and leave me a comment. And if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, do it. Why not hit that subscribe button? But as well, keep your eyes peeled. There's going to be a history and lore video of Gravewood High where we dive into the timeline on and the history behind this, why these mysterious things are happening, who on earth Jack Sticker Seeker is, and who those children are in that picture. But I guess until next time, see you later. Bye.